All right, guys, today we're playing a Mundo top lane, and I'm going to teach you guys exactly on how you can play Mundo right now. So, what you want to run is Grasp, Demolish, Second Wind, Overgrowth, Approach, a Felicity, and also Magical Footwear. We also have a Dorn Shield with Ignite Flash into the Darius matchup. Now, Mundo top, in case you guys haven't seen it, they recently buffed Mundo, like, I believe about like a week and a half ago. Ever since then, Mundo has been the highest win rate in pretty much all the entire game. Not even just top lane, but just almost the entire game. It's pretty much big meta. If you're if you want to play a champ right now that is absolutely bust in every single way, that you gotta just play Mundo. He's very easy to play, not really hard to get into. Those are the two things that I always talk about. Champion needs to be easy to play for many people. And needs to be good. That's exactly what Mundo is for climbing. Alright, so the playstyle we have here is quite simple. We're going to be fully relying on uh, Perma Poking with Q's and E's. We also have my passive, which allows me to uh, ignore the CC from Adarius. So if he grabs me, then. There you go. If he grabs me, then I'm just going to be able to walk right through it. Which is great. There's an Ivan up here. Okay, free Q hit. Also, that's the bone plate from him. Any pressure on Darius? See if we can get a shove. Darius matchup is not exactly an easy matchup, just keep that in mind. Because um, Darius has all in power. If he all ends you, he's likely going to win way harder than you. Oh, he sidestep my Q. Hmm, not bad, he sidestepped pretty much all my abilities. I did outplay him though, I, I flashed into him, so his Q was basically useless. But he was smart. Let's shove this out. Oh, it seems like he's gonna stay for more. We can probably dive him under tower. That's the bone play coming from him. Dodge the Q, you gotta make sure you dodge it. Oh. Well, there goes the passive. Hmm. This man has been surviving quite a bit. Okay, let's go back. So, for the builds, um, we're going to be running the... Let me just go for this one. We're going to be running the Heartsteel build. Now, the more tanky you're going to be on Mundo, um, the better Mundo basically is. You all rely on, on being a tank right now. And the the beautiful part about it is like the more tanky you are, basically more damage, right? You're like stat like stat checking on the on your opponent. Mundo is very simple. Like if your stats are better than your opponent's stats, you're basically winning. It's sounds like a it sounds incredibly simple, but it's the way how he functions. There's um, quite a few champions that work in a similar way, but Mundo is very straightforward in that sense. Okay, let's wait for Darius to come back here. We just keep on freezing, obviously, because we want to deny him as much of the XP as we can. Would have been... Very good if we could deny the cannon too, but I think he'll be uh, back at the time. Okay, his cannon is gone. He's not hiding in the brush either. Called my level 6.
I wonder, like, what he's gonna come back with. Oh, Ivern is topside. Wait, there's an Ivern up here in the brush. I have no idea what they're doing. Kind of weird. Darius is taking a very long time to get back to lane. I have no idea what's going on. He backported and I don't see him now. Oh, there he is. He got a Sheen. I think he's going to go for the Trinity build. Let's go. It's okay if he hits the grab, like, he, uh, I got my passive for it. Walk out. Gotta make sure you don't get hit by that stuff. Like I told you before, it's becomes a problem when, uh, when he can keep on all ending you. His all in is stronger than ours. We got Ivan up here. I mean, uh, Zach, we got up here. Yep. Now back to shuffing. And we're also going to go for one plate. And now we go back. Might be a chance that we might actually see Vayne up here. Nah, it turns out you actually walked away. Cool. There was an Ivern as well as a Vayne, like, pathing topside. Yeah, that's a free kill right there. Got him. Oh, he's also dead. Yep, two kills. Pretty good. Let's go back. Um, we nearly have my heart still. I just need to have a little bit more. We'll go for giant spell. There you go. Look at this. We got 2k HP. Eight minutes in. I think at this point we can just all in Darius. Gotta be careful though because Darius does have like uh He does have Sheen and Longsword. So he's not maybe, maybe not as tanky. But he does actually have a lot of damage. So we gotta be a little bit careful. See if I can walk up here. First, we have to thin out the wave a little. Got him. Love it when Darius plays like walk up like that. Let's take some plates. We can now get hard steel, so now we become really strong. Take another one. I uh, I also kind of want to stay for the wave. Usually at this point, I would definitely stay around because Darius is going to make it back to lane already. Um, but this is something that I can't afford to to wait for. The sooner you get your heart steal, the faster you can proc it, the more you scale. So if I were to stay for another two minutes or three minutes or whatever, I would end up like losing stacks that I could have had. So that's why I'm going back now and I'll stay for this wave. I don't care if Dare is going to get like a plate or something. Now we can start scaling. I'm going to drag the all in. Seems like we're going to be in a 1v2. Okay. I might be able to 1v2. Okay, see you later. Hmm. I want to try and kill Darius.
I'm not sure what they're doing. He just wasted his ultimate. Is he in there? <laughs> ah, I didn't make it. Unfortunately. Back to shoving it. There we go. I got the first Hearthsteel proc. I think we might actually see Ivern back again soon. Ivern's currently in mid, that's good to know. Next wave. Darius might show up. Yep, he's right there. I gotta be careful until I got my ultimate. Whoops. This Darius is not playing the lane anymore. Look how far this guy's staying away from. We're going to be looking for jungle camps now. Okay. Alright, my man. You walk away? Sure. No problem. I see a vein, so... <laughs> I'm not going to fall for it. I know what vein is trying to do here. She walks through from my queue. She knows I'm going to throw it. <laughs> yep, let's try. You going to queue again? Is this the Ash Arrow coming? It actually hits. <laughs> this is clean. This is really clean. Not bad, man. That was such a clean Ash Arrow. Okay, let's get back. I can't believe this Ash Arrow actually landed. <laughs> All the way from bot lane. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, both of these are dead. Another proc on my heart steal. We can get my next item now. I'm going to be building a uh, Sunfire. And then after Sunfire, I'm going to be building a Thormel. Perfect. Yeah, let's get my um, let's get my Sunfire. And then after Sunfire, Thormel. And then we also need to get Steel Caps. We still don't have that item. I'll, uh, I'll be building it now. And we're also going to go for a blue trinket. I'll be getting a red trinket probably uh, later on. We might be able to fight this out. Yeah. This fight's perfectly winnable. I'm, I'm there too now. Brock again. Two kills. Man, I kind of love the champion for what Mundo has become. I remember like back in the day, Mundo was completely different as a character. They kind of made him like so different from what he is, what he used to be. The Q was, it's its kind of like a similar concept, but the, this Mundo, I like it far more. Just more fresh and clean. I don't know if you guys still remember like the old Mundo, but... He didn't have those fancy, tiny, tiny little small mechanics. Alright, see you later. 
Back to pushing again. She might walk. I think she's running up here. Got him too. I basically killed Nami in the exact same way as I did to uh, Jin. <laughs> just standing like around the corner and just waiting for him to move up again. I don't know. She walked into it. Uh, hold on here. This is not good. Wait, I got him. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I can kill this guy then. There you go. So, now, we're going to be going for Steel Caps into Thormil. I'm going to be getting Thormil first, because that's going to make me unkillable. There you go. And now we get back to mid. Interesting, man. Every single time I play Mundo, this is pretty much what my game looks like. Not a one. I'm <laughs> last hitting kills with. <laughs> Just last hitting kills here, no problem. Yeah, this game is pretty much as good as over. I am absolutely 100% unkillable. They have five champions. That are all based on AD. Like they will they would never kill me. Never. Um either way, this is Mundo Top. Thanks so much for watching today's uh YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.